Hello there, it's Mr. Damon, and I am so happy to get to hang out with you. How was your day? If it was anything like mine, you probably had fun moments and a couple of difficult ones too. One of the things that can be challenging is tests. Have you ever taken a test before? Maybe it was a hearing test at the doctor or a math test at school. How about a swim test at the pool to see if you could go into the deep end without a life jacket? Tests come in all shapes and sizes, but they're important because they evaluate our knowledge and our ability. Usually it's doctors, teachers, or lifeguards giving tests. But in tonight's story, God is the one giving the test. And the person taking it? Our good friend named Abraham. In our last Church Kids story, we learned about how God kept his promise to give Abraham and Sarah a baby. Abraham and Sarah named their baby Isaac, and they loved him just like your parents love you. Years went by, and Isaac grew. Our story today picks up when I, Isaac is probably around 12 to 15 years old. One day, God spoke to Abraham saying, Abraham, I want you to give me something. Cool, God, what is it? Abraham asked. Do you want my bike? My favorite donkey? Do you want a popsicle? Thanks, but I don't want those things, God said. I want you to give me something really special. I want you to give me your son, Isaac. Whoa. Abraham waited his whole life to have this baby. And finally, when he turned 100 years old, God gave him his son, Isaac. Now God was asking for Isaac back? Well, it got worse. Not only would Abraham need to give his precious son back to God, but Isaac would need to die. I'll be honest with you. When I was little and my parents asked me to do something difficult, I would stall or try to get out of it. But not Abraham. When God asked him to give Isaac back to him, Abraham said, Okay. And early the very next morning, he woke up and set out with Isaac to obey God. Why did he do this? It's simple. Because Abraham knew. He could trust God no matter how difficult things felt. So Abraham and Isaac climbed up to the top of a mountain and built an altar to God. Now, what's an altar, Mr. Damon? Good question. In the Old Testament, that's the first part of the Bible before Jesus came to the earth. People would worship God by barbecuing a lamb on top of a large pile of rocks. The pile of rocks was called an altar. After Abraham and Isaac finished piling up the rocks and building their altar, Isaac looked around confused and said, Dad, we're missing the lamb. What are we going to sacrifice to God? Abraham looked at his beloved son and said, Don't worry, son. God is going to give us a lamb. Then, Abraham tied Isaac's hands and set him on the altar. And just when Abraham was about to give Isaac back to God, God yelled out from heaven, Stop, Abraham! I don't want you to hurt Isaac. I love Isaac. I wanted to see if you trusted me with what matters most to you. And I know you do. This was a test, Abraham, and you passed. Abraham laughed with joy and hugged his son Isaac. God never wanted Abraham to hurt Isaac or give him back. God wanted to see if Abraham trusted him. And just then, Abraham heard the sound of a lamb nearby. Its fur had gotten trapped in a clump of sticker bushes. God told Abraham, see, I am the one who is providing you with the lamb. Church kids, God gave Abraham a test that day, and Abraham trusted God. 
because he's always good and he always keeps his promises to us. But you see, this story isn't really about Abraham's test. It's about Jesus. Because 2,000 years after our story took place, God sacrificed and gave up his own son, Jesus, on the cross to set us free from sin and fix our broken relationship with him. Do you know that one of Jesus' nicknames is the Lamb of God? And that many Bible professors believe the mountain where God tested Abraham is near the very place where Jesus died on the cross. You see, the story about Abraham's test isn't really about Abraham or Isaac. It's about Jesus. God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son to show us how he would sacrifice his own son Jesus on the cross for the whole world. Just like God gave Abraham a lamb to die instead of his own son Isaac, years later God gave his son, the Lamb of God, to die in our places. And just like Abraham, you and I can trust Jesus with everything in our life. If God gave his precious son Jesus, he will give us everything we need. The Bible says that Abraham trusted God. He believed God's promises and that made God very happy. This is called faith. And just like Abraham, Jesus wants us to trust him and to believe that he loves us no matter what. Church kids, let's talk to Jesus together and thank him for becoming our sacrifice, for being our lamb. Jesus, thank you for taking my place and dying so I could become best friends with you. Thank you that I can always trust you no matter how hard it may feel. Help me to trust you when I have tests in my life, I know you will help me pass them because you love me and are always with me. Amen. Amen. Church kids, just think, the God who made the universe thinks you are so important and valuable. He left heaven died on the cross and rose from the dead so that you could know him and spend forever with him here on earth and in heaven. You must be incredibly special. I love you so much. Have a wonderful night's sleep and have sweet dreams because tomorrow is going to be an amazing Good night.